What's going on guys? Today we are starting off our first episode of the Life on the Move series. Pretty much it's a series of us, Kirby and I, who's right behind the camera today. We're gonna be interviewing some students, professors, things like that. That is gonna be for the documentary, so we're not gonna be showing a whole lot of that within this series. We're gonna be uh, kind of showcasing you guys behind our trip of us driving all the way to Colorado, which is like 24 hour drive. So it's gonna be a lot, but we're gonna take some rests along the way. Um, but pretty much with this Life on the Move series, we have partnered up with a company that I truly do love and that I use their products. So today we have partnered up with Nomadic. And in some of my previous videos, you guys have seen me use their products right here. We have the Peter McKinnon travel camera bag. I was so, so in love with this bag that I reached out to Nomadic, kind of talked with them. After talking to James, he hooked us up with some bags. So shout out to him. Um, but pretty much I'm gonna showcase to you guys what he brought for us. One box right here, another box right here. We got one right here. And we got two more down there. So right here in this box, we have the Peter McKinnon Nomadic camera bag. Let's get into this box and show you guys pretty much the unboxing experience of Nomadic camera bags. So pretty much once we take it out of the box, we have this nice white packaging to pretty much kind of just like give you guys a bit more of a premium feel when you guys are taking it out. So once we take it out from the white bag, here we have the camera bag. This just feels like the first time I just got it. So right here we have the camera layout. So pretty much uh, generally right here is where you can keep your camera. Uh, they give you some extra space for extra bags, things like that. They give you already dividers inside and everything is customizable. You got some zippers over here where you can keep uh, tablets and stuff. In the back, it does have a zipper where you can keep a laptop. I believe it's up to 16 inches. On the top, we have like an RFID uh, kind of lock where you guys can keep like your wallets, you know, uh, keys, things like that in there. And then over here, we do have another place where you can kind of keep clothes or extra camera equipment. And then there is another zip where uh, if you unzip it, it will actually uh, increase the length of this bag. So again, there is a lot of versatility with this camera bag and it is a really, really good bag. So let's get to other bags and show you guys what those are all about. So besides the camera bags, we do have these two, but in here we have the travel pack. So this is just pretty much a backpack. That's more of an everyday uh, kind of go and carry. And that's kind of the one thing with the Peter McKinnon bag. That's a little bit difficult because it's not really great for an everyday travel bag, especially since it is pretty big. It is a bit bulky, but on their Kickstarter, which I did back, um, they are releasing a New York Peter McKinnon one that is more for an everyday use. So you guys can go check that out on, I believe their Indiegogo where you can go and pre-order. So make sure to go do that. But let's get into these boxes and show you guys this travel bag. Ooh, okay. Again, another thing when it comes to Nomadic is their build quality. These things are built, uh, built so, so well. Again, super rugged, also scratch resistant. And also this bag is water resistant. So if you guys are in light rain, things like that, this will protect your gear or whatever else you're carrying. But right here, we do have space. So we got some straps. So these are actually, oh, this is actually super nice. So we actually do have waist straps. So you can keep this around your waist. So that way your back isn't, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt as much as it would. Again, we do have some zippers, pockets, things like that. And then I think that's probably for like cables headphones and also one thing i do need to mention with these nomadic bags is that if you guys just like leave them standing it will actually stand and that's one thing i remember a lot of people talk about camera bags and just bags in general is that anytime you try to keep it vertically they don't stand just like by itself so having this bag stand by itself is really really nice and especially right now you know kind of a little bit post covid um since now people are starting to travel again this is probably one of the bags that i definitely recommend for people to get which is the navigator series this one is the navigator carry on the 37 liter right, this thing looks really really good so this is my first time that i'm also seeing this bag as well and it is made out of some different material than the previous bags but yeah so in here obviously you guys can keep a lot of stuff in here um again chargers laptops how's that look dang that's a lot of space <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and again it doesn't just have to be used for like clothing bag uh, you can use this as a camera bag so again a really 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 nice uh, luggage bag from nomadic if you guys want to get any of these bags make sure to go check out the links down in the description Kirby, what do you think with all these bags just like kind of lined up like this it's perfect <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So we got the better than any other bag that I own. So again, shout out to Nomadic for sending these uh, bags out. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go into our next scene, which is Kirby and I pretty much packing our stuff inside of these bags. All right, guys. So I'm gonna start packing now. Uh, my room's a little bit of a mess, but um, yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so I just finished packing uh, my suitcase and I was honestly quite impressed because the Nomadic suitcase was able to 
you know, it was honestly able to pack quite a lot and uh, yeah, it was super quick and easy. So thank you again to Nomadic for helping us out and sending us these bags. Uh, it made packing really easy today. All right guys, so today is the day before the trip. Today is July 9th and right now I'm packing up my gear and getting ready to go for tomorrow. And pretty much right now I've laid out my gear on my bed and I've kind of written down here in my notebook of the items that I'm bringing. Right over there, that is the original Nomadic bag that I had. So in this bag, it's pretty much gonna be all of the camera stuff and lenses. And then for the second Peter McKinnon Nomadic bag, we have right here, right now I'm just filling it up with my FTV equipment. So right here we got the drone, got the goggles, and then I'm gonna be putting in the batteries, uh, propeller, propeller guards, things like that. So again, there definitely is a lot of work. So I'm gonna be putting the camera down, just recording me filling up these bags uh, for both the series and the documentary. So I'm gonna get back to packing and hopefully I can try to finish this all today since obviously we are leaving tomorrow morning. All right guys, so after a few hours of packing, we finally got all the bags packed and I have to still give a huge shout out to Nomadic for sending out these bags because honestly, if I didn't have these bags, pretty much my luggage would be a lot bigger than just this right now. So I'm gonna end off this video since it is around six o'clock and within another hour or two, I just really wanna go to bed since Kirby and I are planning to leave in the morning around four or five. So I'm gonna end the video here and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. All right guys, so right now it is about 4.19 in the morning and I just woke up probably about like 20, 30 minutes ago, already took a shower and right now I put all of my bags downstairs ready for Kirby to pick up. I think Kirby's actually on his way right now. So right here, I got the Canon R5 ready to go. I'll see you guys when Kirby gets here. Alrighty guys, so we've made it here to Reno in Nevada and right now we are charging the Tesla, so there's Kirby. <laughs> so right now we just stopped at a Starbucks and uh, we're taking a little bathroom break. Uh, we just went to a supercharger and charged Kirby's Model 3, so that way we are good to go for our next stop uh, to get charged up there, which I think it's going to be like a three hour trip, so again, it's going to be quite some time, but I think we'll make our ways there. But yeah, so we definitely packed up a lot, but yeah, again, we are super, super excited to get into this and we'll see you guys on the road and probably we will continue where we left off on our next stop. So we'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so we have officially made it to our final stop before we head over to Salt Lake City. So it's probably going to be like another, I'd say three hours until we actually get to Salt Lake from here. So it's, it's not going to be too far away. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we should reach there around like 3.30, 4. Alright guys, so the other camera ran out of storage on its SD card. I think when it comes to the Nomadic bags, they have held up super well. Right here I have my travel pack. So here I have my laptop, cables, chargers, things like that. So pretty much all my everyday essentials. And then back there, you guys can see we have all of our bags. We got the Peter McKinnon Nomadic bag here, and then the Navigator series is back there. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. So right now, we just made it here to Salt Lake City in Utah, and right now we are inside of our hotel, which is the Marriott Hotel. I'm gonna turn off the camera right now so that way Kirby and I can get some really good rest since we definitely need it. We've been up on the road for a long time. So I'm putting down the camera and we will see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so we are officially here in Boulder, Colorado. Right now it is about 7.30 in the afternoon. So Kirby and I, um, as you guys just saw in the last clip, 
Um, we made it around like 325, 330-ish. So again, huge shout out to Nomadic for partnering with Kirby and I on our journey for this documentary, as well as the Life on the Move series. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in episode two. All right, you guys, take it easy. Peace. Boulder. About to go inside and do some interviews with uh, some of Kirby's TAs. We'll get to filming.